spooky music. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm gonna go inside the barrel now because you probably noticed that there was a spider web covering ye ol' hole here. So let's clean that off and fall down it. Woo! This puddle is not very deep. I mean, we're already small and yet this it's not uh, deep enough to drown us. Now what? Unless we find a way to travel by water, we won't be going much farther. Well, looks like we're stuck. Game over, man. Game over. Oh, whoops, I accidentally hit the A button. Oh, look at that, it pulls the lily pad towards us, and you can also use the puffs of air that your gust jar makes in order to move forward, just by tapping the A button. And it's amazing what you discover when you experiment. Um, if you go this way, uh, you'll find random slugs falling from the ceiling. Oh, I forgot to mention their names in the last part. They're called Slugulas. So, yeah, I just thought I would get that out of the way. No, no, don't you dare knock me off my lily pad. Not that it'll harm me, but still, it's inconvenient. <laughs> um, there's a locked passageway to the right. Oh, uh, I wonder what you have to do here. Wait, can I kill you from up here? I can. Well, I, I can, kind of. So I would get him out of the way. Yeah, this is kind of obvious. <laughs> but you gotta dig yourself into the pots in a way that you don't throw a pot that um, is vital to pressing that switch. But if you do, just respawn the pots by leaving. Oops, by leaving the room and coming back. Anyway, let's go back around. Now that we have a lily pad, you probably have an idea of how to solve this puzzle here. Remember this one? Remember? Yep! Now we can get the treasure chest on this side. Woohoo! I got a small key! So, from the uh, last part, I pushed the pot onto the switch that's over there. Just like so. And then it made us, uh, the treasure chest appear over there. And I couldn't get it because I didn't have the lily pad, but I was able to get the compass at the upper right corner there. Just a little recap of this room in case you forgot it. And the pot is still on the switch, amazingly. <laughs> Despite the other pots respawning and going back into place, I guess the they knew exactly what they should be doing in life. No slogulas! Stop trying to ambush me from above! Nope, 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 there we go. And now I can leave my ride behind. And that takes me to this room. A brand new room. I think I'll be good doing it there. We didn't hear like, oh no, I'm stuck in the corner. I, I, oh, I decided to suck up the spores and then the mushroom came with it. Yeah, that's the way that the designers indicated that for you. Is because they obviously figure that you would know by now that the, the spores would uh, have that effect, so they put spores there on the mushrooms to show you that, hey, maybe you should try using your gust jar across there. Pretty clever, I have to say. Ah, I got the big key, and there's one of these in every dungeon as well. And you'll also see it on the uh, map screen there. Yeah, so I got all the dungeon items. Delightful. And now this makes a, a red warp up here. This takes us back to the beginning of the dungeon. And remember that blue warp that led up to that heart piece? Look at that, we're right at the beginning of the area, which takes us up to the heart piece. <laughs> That's very convenient design. Delightful. All right. Uh, I think we're just about done with this dungeon. Yeah, aside from the last floor, uh, take the left route first because it's the only way to get the last treasure chest up here. Boop. Just clear the spider webs off the door. And yeah, all these blocks you can't push from the other side. But this one you can. 20 rupees. Not bad. And that about clears out the dungeon. Aside from the uh, a boss, of course. Of course, you know there's a boss. Come on now. <laughs> there's gotta be a boss to have a climactic ending to the place. Alright, let's pull this across. Bloop. And pull oh shoot! <laughs> That's too close. Mm, yeah, there we go. Uh, there's some hearts and stuff behind the big door, just in case you need them. And now, let's go inside. Oh, 
Look at that, it's a cute little green choo-choo. Just hopping along, happen, having a good time. Oh yeah, what's it doing in the temple? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Even though it's a regular size choo-choo up there, we're tiny, so that means the boss is the big green choo-choo. And this deserves the boss music. <laughs> All you have to do is suck at- oh geez. All you have to do is suck at its base with the gust jar until it starts to teeter over. I'm just trying to lead it to the side so I don't have enough time to suck its life force away with the gust jar. Well, actually, I'm not sucking its life force away. I'm sucking its gooeyness away. But I will be sucking its life away with my sword. Okay, when it starts teetering like this, be very careful because it's going to flop down. And when it does, it can hurt you. But once it does, you will be able to hurt it. Inside those pots in the corner of the room are some hearts if you need them. So be sure to conserve them just in case. You can also jump around as you can tell, so be careful of that. Uh, you can blow it away a little bit with your gust jar, so you can let it come in pretty close before you let off the steam because um, it, it's sort of a way to let yourself let yourself be able to recover away from. Uh, don't follow me, thank you. It's a way so that it's not cheap because otherwise. Because you can't move the, all that fast when you're using the gust jar, so it's a thing of they did that to balance out the fight. Come on, stop moving. Stop moving. I need to suck your jelliness. It's almost done, by the way. Just gets a lot faster. Gets a lot trickier. Well, it's not that much trickier. It's a it's a beginner's boss, basically. Come on, come on. let me suck your bottom. That, that can be perceived in many different ways. Oh, 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 fall, thank you. And this should be it. Yeah! Just think, it took all that effort to kill a single chew because we're tiny. <laughs> well, a single chew chew because we're tiny. And. Yeah, it's the Earth Elements. And before you leave, don't forget your heart container. The power of the Earth is the source of all living things. The Earth Element is the embodiment of that power. So, notice a green portal appears, and a heart container which increases your life by one heart. Observe the upper left corner. Yay! And it also refills your health. Let's get out of here, because this dungeon is 100% complete. You got the Earth Element! You must go tell the Elder at once! Sounds good. So let's get out of here. And let's go chat around the village and see what's going on. Hey, what do you have to say about this? You achieve the Earth Element from that fiend that fested shrine? Incredible! Humans are amazing creatures. The Elder is sure to be amazed too. I wonder if anyone else has anything to say about my recent victory. I would doubt it. It's usually just the, the key characters that have different dialogue. Yeah, it's just the key characters. So that means I should just go over to the Elder because I already chatted with the majority. And... How's it going? So, you have found the Earth... <coughs> oh, man, I'm sounding like Ezlo. So, you have, you have found the Earth element. You are blessed with much courage and strength for one so young. If your conviction holds strong, head to Mount Krennel. There you will find a man named Malarney. Malari, <clears throat> excuse me. Among all the Minish, there is no one more able to repair your sword. If you ask him, I am certain he will reforge your broken Picori blade. I shall send word to him in advance. Travel safely. You are brave, but there are many evils now in the world. Secret hidden room! That leads to his bedroom, actually. <laughs> Leave through this door here. It will take you out of the forest quickly. Great Elder. Oh, Great Elder! We are in your depth. We shall head for Mount Colonel at once. Okay. Mm, okay, same, same dialogue. See, his bedroom. <laughs> and voila. 
So, I'll go in this house first. You definitely want what's inside this house. Green clothes and a mystical hat? Sir, would you, be, would you by chance be Link, the one who found the Earth element? Wow, word really does travel fast. Surely you are. I've heard so many tales about you. I am Polari, researcher of antiquities. <clears throat> antiquities, I am also, well, a bit of an inventor. You know, you won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Here, I have something that might come in handy. And he gives you a bomb bag. And it has 10 bombs in it, of course. <laughs> now you can blow up lots of stuff, well, until you run out of bombs. Conserve your bombs, because it actually is kind of uh, difficult to get bombs at this point until you're able to get back to town, so just use them sparringly at the, mo uh, at the moment in time. Oh, no, puddle. Oh, back to normal. And now we can cross the puddle. <laughs> Yeah, not much of a puzzle there. Uh, these... Oh wow, I got lucky and actually found bombs when I said that that's sometimes difficult to find bombs. But in that they're scarce. Uh, this thing right here, you're gonna want to chat with it. Holder of the sacred powers. We grant you the power of the wind! Whoa, jeez! Oh, whoa, it blew up? Hey, kid! Look at where that stone marker used to be. There's some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course. Why? This must be... Well, I have enough foggiest, to be honest. <laughs> hmm. So, it's a mysterious symbol. Just like it's a mysterious shells. I mean, there's mysterious shells. Um, over, over here is a couple more mouse holes, which you can guess lead to secrets based on other stuff and stuff and stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We wouldn't be able to pass through here if we didn't get the bombs first. So pop a bomb there, stand away from it because they will hurt you. In fact, I should show you that. Ow! <laughs> there's probably some hearts inside here. No, there's not, but there is a rupee worth five. And we're at the Eastern Hills. It's a new place, and I'm going to cross this chasm just because. Woo! Why not? Also blow this up because why not? Also take a look in that house because First heart. <laughs> I just wanted to refill my health there. Go, go, down, shrink, yes! And in we go. This has got a little bit of info about future stuff. Hey, look at this kinstone piece. Have you ever seen one like this? What? You don't know what a kinstone piece is? Well, tell you what. Why don't you come back and see when you got one, okay? Sounds good. So he's hinting that there are pieces of kinstones. Oh, yes. Oh yes, and they're gonna be quite the side quest. Um, which way should I take? I think it just loops around, actually. Yep. <laughs> I could have actually accessed that without the mushrooms. Oh jeez! There's sometimes enemies hiding in grass, so be careful of that. P-Hat is up there wandering around. You can't really... Well, you can um, kill them with the gust jar by stunning them first and then hitting them with your sword. Here's some keys. Keys are randomly moving enemies that can sometimes get in your way. Ooh, mysterious! <laughs> oh no, you don't. Boop. See, they're invincible otherwise, but if you whip out... Oops, I'm already on the right screen. Whip out the gust jar, puff them with air, they'll, their flower at the top will wither. I guess it's a really bad gas that comes out of the gust jar, and you'll be able to kill them off like so. And no, 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 you don't. Just kind of just cutting the lawn here, just because I figure things are getting a little bit untame. Uh, I'm gonna blow this up to create a shortcut back to Minish Woods. Just wedge yourself in the corner, and you should be able to blow up all four at once. Oh, jeez. Enemy invasion! 15 at once! Who will win this battle? Ah, you guys suck. <laughs> oh, I actually missed one, oh well. And. Octoroks. Octoroks. Trees. Uh, when you cut uh, trees like this in the middle of paths, I notice what happens is that they actually uh, stay cut for whatever reason. I think it's because, it's like, for convenience sake. Like, they're just there to make the paths linear, and then when you get the tool to be able to cross through them, when you cut your way through them, or whatever you need to do, they just um, stay open for you. Back to town! 
And once you appear, I mean, once you walk up to here, a little event will occur. This is the Hurdy Gurdy Man. Yeah, that's actually his name. Come one, come all! See how many kinstone pieces you can collect! You never know what fusing kinstones will do, but it's sure to be good! Come on up and get your free kinstone bag for holding your kinstone pieces! Don't miss out on this incredible once in a lifetime opportunity! Yes, yes, you're here for your free kinstone bag, aren't you? That's right! Maybe you didn't hear me, but they're free for all kids right now! Ooh, I want one! Woo! I got a kinstone bag! And I can now carry kinstone pieces. It also comes with one. Press start to view its contents from your quest status screen. I'll be able to show you that right now. Notice that there's a little speech bubble of sorts that appeared above his head. Whenever a character has a bubble like that, you'll be able to fuse kinstones with them if if you have the correct kinstone piece. There's, I think, eight main variations of them and some other side variations for special quests, but I'll get into them a little bit later. They're all basically the same. Need to have one half of the kinstone to fuse with the other. Anyway, fitting two kinstone pieces together is called a kinstone fusion. If you get two pieces to fit perfectly, great happiness will come your way. I'll put a kinstone piece in your kinstone bag so you can give it a try. Anyone who is willing, ready and willing to fit, fuse kinstones will look like I do right now, with the speech bubble. When you see that look in their eyes, that's when you press L. So L is how you fuse kinstones. Use the D-pad to choose a kinstone piece and press A to try fusing it. Did you catch all that? Yes, I did. I've played this game before. <laughs> and stand in front of me and press L so we can fuse kinstones. I'm gonna actually talk to the kids first because I can't talk to them after I fuse kinstones with the hurdy-gurdy man. I do, but you have no kinstones to fuse because you have no spe no speech bubble. So, L button. And then you come into this screen. Yep, see? Hurdy gurdy man. <laughs> Boop. And that's how you fuse kinstones. There are a total of 100 kinstone fusions in this game, and you have to get all of them in order to 100% the game. Well, technically, if you want them 100% the game, if you're really anal about it, because you get a special prize for doing something like this. And, unbelievably, some of these kinstone fusions are randomized between people, so when it comes to kinstone fusions, I probably won't be able to help you all that much in that regard. I'll just show you who I'm fusing kinstones with and, uh, and me getting the prizes from them. When, when you unlock a, a prize from a kinstone, you don't get it automatically. You have to go to that spot on the map, see where it's flashing, and that spot will appear, and that spot will be on your map permanently until you get whatever prize the kinstone fusion relates to. A perfect fit. That means we're both due for a little happiness. See ya! And they're gone. <laughs> see, that's what I mean. You can't talk to the kids after you're done fusing. fusing. Um... As long as I'm here, because I'm near the spot, I'm gonna go over to the spot where... Oh, this is my house, by the way. I'll show you something as long as I'm here, just for the fun of it. So, this is your house. Well, it seems like a nice place. So, where's my room? <laughs> Actually, if you go up here, there's two beds to sleep in, if you recall. Go up, I'll go up to the bed. So, this is your room. That makes my room too, right? <laughs> so if you go up to the bed... Hey, aren't you tired? Do you want to take a rest? Yes, I would. When you take a rest, it'll refill all of your hearts. So it's a way to refill yourself quite easily. If you're, if you're in the area. <laughs> and there we go. But my, my hearts were already filled, but... Oh, yeah! That was just what I needed to get back in the fight. Let's go, Link! Okie dokie. So, let's go around, and... Yes, I'm gonna go and uh, see where that... I'm gonna see... I mean, see what prize that Kinstone gave me. Oh, welcome back, Link! My, but you're looking so much stronger! If you get tired, just go ahead and take a nap upstairs in your room. I already did that! I'm busy making swords for the guards to keep the monsters at bay. I wish I could do more, but for now, we need you to save Princess Zelda. Okay, I, I, I forgot all about her, actually. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm going to go to the spots and also unlock this over here. This is what the kinstone unlocked, and inside is a heart piece! We got four of them now, so that means we get another heart container. 
Every four, you can get one more heart, so we are up to five now. So it's definitely worth it to do the Kinstone fuse Fusion so that you can... Um, so that you can get all the hearts in the game, get your up ah, upgrades and stuff like that. Whatever you need to 100% and make things easier. Also, activate this thing. Yep, it's another one of these. Hey, that stone marker crumbled! And there's another one of those symbols! You know, no matter how many times I see that happen, it still rattles me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's still mysterious. Mm. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go back up to the town and then end off the part. So, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I hope to see you in the next one as well.